And good day. Uh, let's see, it's uh, 322, March 22nd, 2020. Uh, I'm sitting over here because I've got a guest, a speaker that's going to come and uh, sit with me and help, help me sort th through a few things. Quit laughing. And may I introduce my lovely wife, Susan Kelsey. Uh, okay, so uh, we've gotten up to the point in my storytelling of my life of where there's something significant coming into my life and I do not realize it, but it's happening. So, uh, you know, we, for years we've been going up to Big Bear, uh, the good luck campground and hoping for some good luck uh, each year. But, <laughs> but you know, the main reason we went, uh, my family went there and probably Sue's family went there was there was a bar at that campground <laughs> and our uh, parents, like especially her mother and my, both my parents, they did like to drink and it was a good bar. They had a little uh, 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 grocery store there kind of set up too and, mm -hmm. and kids could just come and go into the bar as, as needed. Um, <clears throat> so I don't know, it's maybe like 13 or 14 years old when we were really uh, getting up there and then uh, uh, at first, it was just me. I would kind of borrow somebody's bicycle, and I would head off way back into Holcomb Valley and stuff on on uh, Lee's bicycle, mm -hmm. and uh, just a ten-speed road bike. But I'd ride that thing <laughs> off road like crazy. Um, but at at some point, I became aware of this young lady. You're younger than me. I don't know. So she's like thirteen, fourteen, whatever the age works. That's why I've got her here. Here is the <laughs> It's straightened me out on some of the dates. And uh, uh, what was the first thing that where we interacted? The only thing I remember is you being in the bar doing what? I like to uh, beg for quarters and sing at the jukebox. I would sing Nancy Sinatra, These Boots Are Made for Walking. Don't do that. <laughs> it brings up bad, bad memories. <laughs> I did enjoy singing with I, you. Bob. I would have to leave the room. But you take a bunch of 60-year-old drunks. They just thought it was wonderful. And they were very humorous. Yeah, they, oh, boy. There's, there's, there's better ways to make money. So, oh, man. Um, so some, some, each year we'd go up and, you know, we're another year older. Right. Uh, uh, now, Susie, uh, apparently you had a, a boyfriend before me that mm -hmm. I was not aware of. Where, 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 where was he from, and he, what was his name, his and name. what did he look like? <laughs> <laughs> his name was Jimmy, and he lived in Big Bear. In fact, he was very close to Good Luck Camp, his family, and we met. And this was the summer before we got together with me and Mike. Um, and he looked like the guy on Mad Magazine. He was shorter the than handsome me. Handsome guy then. And uh, what would you call that? <laughs> okay. Anyway. With a genetic defect. Okay. He was a nice guy. A nice guy. But, you know. I never, apparently never recognized him or met him because I have no interest, I guess, at that time with a gal with the same... <laughs> These boots are made for walking in a bar. <laughs> so maybe it was the year after that. Right. Now, what did, did it you, was the year after that? Didn't you tell me that he actually even challenged me that you wouldn't pay any attention to so me? You, I wasn't you, good enough for you. What you had, you had made notice of me? Uh, you were boat dock man. Uh -huh. so, okay, yeah. so let me explain so. what boat dock man is. <laughs> so that summer. Uh, that summer, I mean, we'd always been doing work. Me and the, the other, my other uh, two brothers, we'd, uh, oh gosh, everything from cleaning bathrooms. Uh, we dug ditches uh, for yeah. water lines that they were doing. We hauled off, we would rake up ne pine needles before the season started, right. haul them off in a truck, pick up pine cones, anything to make money. So they had this broken down bo boat dock. Half of it was sink, sunk. None of the birds Ooh, were floatable. Work. Uh, no motors were running. They, you know, it was mostly rowboats, but there's a few motors. And so I got to thinking, 
I think I could, you know, rent some boats out maybe here. So I went and talked with Lee or who's the other guy's name? Bill. Bill, Bill Lee or Bill. Lee. I think it was they Bill. The, the Bill tried to drive a hard bargain and I, I whooped him on it. So he says, yeah, you know, it's all on you. If you want to try to float that dock and get some boats going, uh, you know, we'll split the money 60-40. And I said, I get 60 and you get 40. He says, no, I get 40. And he says, he gets the 60 and I get 40. I said, I'm not going to do it if I don't get the 60 and you, you, you'll you get your 40. He said, okay, we'll do it. <laughs> he probably didn't think I could do this. So I went out there and, and uh, uh, repaired the flotation stuff, uh, repaired boats that would no longer float, got them fixed, uh, rounded up some old row, uh, oars and stuff and actually got a couple of motors going too. And I would rent out a boat to somebody, I don't know, I had a fleet of about six boats or so. <laughs> They're just little 14-foot aluminum row boats, but you could put a motor, motor on one, one or two of them. And uh, I'd rent them out for, if I remember right, seven, $7 for a half a day, $14 for a whole day rowboat. Uh, but it's quite a bit more for the little motor boat with a little, you know, 10-horse mm -hmm. motor or something on the back. And uh, then I also got into uh, setting up uh, buoys for them to buoy their boat out in the small bay there. You know, I'd hang a bunch of bricks down at the bottom, make sure that the boat's not going to get uh, blown away. And uh, then, I, gosh, I was charging like 25 bucks a month or something like that for them to keep their boat out there. And then if they, when they showed up on the weekend to go boating, I would row them out to their boat and I would charge them for that. I was making about 400 bucks a, a month. I mean, a, a weekend. Good money for, mm, for, <laughs> for that time. age. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, it all Seven, went towards what, eventually 60s? buying me a, a vehicle. It was in the late 60s. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> and uh, so I don't know what happened to the Mad Magazine guy, but uh, <laughs> the uh, I can remember like the next year we came up and uh, I think that's when we kind of went for a horseback ride or something. Because mm -hmm. me and Larry, uh, I don't know, I don't know if Cheryl sure was, was with us. Um, so it sure. might have just been me and Larry and, and you. Mm -hmm. And and it's just like a, a mile down the road, here's this uh, place that rents out horses. So we go there and uh, rent some horses and the trail, they tell them to just ride across the highway, careful across the highway. Right. And not... those horses were, you know, Come on, get it. Let's go. They wouldn't go. They wouldn't, they, you know, just plod along, plod along. And I go, well, this is. And then finally we go, okay, we've, we've got so much time to get back. And we turn the horses around and they took off like, yeah, they took off. like the horse race was on. They were glad to go back. And her horse was like, I'm going to call him Bullet. <laughs> and she, she's holding on, jumps a, a tree that had fallen. And I'm going, what a I show! Thought off. I was gonna go down. What a show I off! I'm able. just going. God, yeah, I'm not impressed, you know. Yeah, that was scary. But those horses yeah. had two speeds: one going out, and, and coming uh, back, they were fast. And uh, yeah. They to get back. So uh, that was kind of, you know, re really fun. not a date. Really had didn't have much interest. She was still a, the bar girl singing at the jukebox, <laughs> as far as I was concerned. So I don't know if another whole year probably went by. And no, it was during the boat dock year. I know, but I did a, a few years of boat dock. Oh, okay. Okay, well, so I think it might have not been when it first started. Well, but it'll work either way. Okay. Um, uh, but I I can remember one year, you showed up, and apparently I didn't recognize you because I'm looking out the the uh, the store window, and there's some young girl with long hair going across the road to a campground over there. And all I can remember is kind of what they refer to as a badonka donk bud. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it was there. It, it, it was a uh, prominent. <laughs> I mean, it was, it was a good butt. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, at some well, point, I don't, like know, the I don't I, no, it's, <laughs> eventually, I, the eventually I did see you and you, you were even more attractive from the front. 
and I don't know how I approach that whole thing because as I, as as I've told you from other videos previously, I was a little awkward with girls. So we started just saying hi. That was the first I, thing. Sitting around a campfire, maybe occasionally. Well, think, actually, yeah. I, you offered me to take me out in one of the boats. Uh -huh, yeah. Ooh. And uh, one ride in a yellow rowboat. Ooh. Well, I spent pretty much the whole summer with you yeah. on the boat because I yeah. had a tan from the top of my knee to my thighs and nothing down below because <laughs> we sat in those uh, boats yeah. all summer long. Yeah. So I was with you that summer. I got rid of or dumped Jimmy. And so I guess we, 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 we were a thing then, right? We were a thing. Okay. Then. That summer, yeah. we had a, a, a very nice summer. So maybe summer. it was the next summer that you brought Cheryl up. I think it is. Okay. So I think it was the next year. So we were a little we, older. We were seeing each other, but yeah. uh, I don't think I was making uh, making our trips down to visit you in Los Angeles at that point. Mm -hmm. because No, you yeah. didn't do that. No. So, but you come up with uh, Cheryl, you're uh, a mm -hmm. friend. Uh, and, of course, I guess they had started camping there. Well, no, she was with us at the time. Okay. The, par the parents didn't come. Okay. It was just Cheryl was invited to our to stay with us. Yeah. Uh -huh. But did they come up a number of weekends and start camping too? I can't remember. Um, I'm not sure, but I do think we, well, whenever we came up, she came up with us. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. I don't think her family okay. came up. Because, you know, her and Larry became kind of a That's regular right. dating thing. That's right. As soon as we got up and, there and, and, and uh, so we paired off <laughs> and uh, double dated. <laughs> well, that already made my choice. <laughs> I was stuck with it. So, uh, yeah, we uh, there was this evening where, and Sue doesn't remember it, but I re remember it. Her and Cheryl are running around the campground. They're wanting to have a dance that night. And maybe it was mostly Cheryl. And they were trying to find a band. And I'm going, so so me and Larry decided, let's just save these gals from embarrassment. We'll take them, take them over across the lake and, you know, play the pinball, play the ski ball, take them out to dinner. And so we did I that. So that. this is officially our first date. I Otherwise, I, I just considered it. We were just kind of friendly and enjoyed each other's company. But this was a date. This was a date. Was a date. So we playing pinball. We probably had some dinner. Uh, ski ball. She yeah. is a monster <laughs> at ski ball. A monster. Ski -ball. And. So she was standing there, might have been at a pinball, uh, and I got close, and I kind of just got bold, and I put my arm <laughs> around her, had my hand on her little <laughs> waist there. And it was little then. <laughs> no objection. No objection came from her, so that made it official. We were a thing now. Um, the uh, what, what, <laughs> Where did we go from there? <laughs> Well, we spent that summer. Yeah, that summer um, was a very good summer. We did go do the ski ball thing and the, the arcades a few times, yeah. and we did the, the the horseback riding, and then we were in the boat a lot. Yeah, spent a lot of time in the boat skiing. Skiing. Ed had a boat, and he yeah. took a skiing. There was this dirty old man. Yeah, he was a dirty old man. <laughs> His house was right next to the Good Luck Camp. Yeah. He had a speedboat, and he would take the girls. Yeah. Uh, skiing and uh so one time you know he's going to take Susie out skiing mm -hmm. i think you, maybe you'd been out skiing with him before right and this is guys like 60 some years old and just just you know a real dirty old man and so i go out there one time with him and apparently his favorite part of skiing was getting to pull Susie back into the You're boat pulling me into the boat <laughs> and so uh, I, so I, I told I told like Sue that. you 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 need to stop it with that being around that man because he's got a history. Yeah. So yeah, well, that was the end of that. <laughs> I did learn to ski and had fun doing it, but uh, after he sometimes did that, learning to ski comes with a price though. Mm -hmm. So save you from that. That's good. And uh, you guys brought those little ski. Oh well, those reds too. Okay, well, yeah, we did play on those. Yeah, those uh, were cool, those so one-person skis. Before there was a jet ski, mm -hmm. 
Ed had these, uh, now I liked him for this. <laughs> he would let us borrow these two uh, pontoon ski things. Ski things. What they are is you've got two little pontoons about maybe eight foot long. you got a, a, a kind of a handlebar up front. And if you move it, it moves. It makes I would, a, I would call and that the motors a, turn with that too. I call that an early ski what do we have now? Jet skis. Jet yeah. ski. That was an early jet ski. That's but what that it, was. It wasn't jet. It no, was, it wasn't jet, but it was the, before you went to the jets. It and was that kind I, of I, I didn't remember that you got to ride on that. I, I know we rode them a lot. Yeah. My mama took rides on them. And uh, I'm sure my pa took rides on them. And it was a lot of fun. That that would have rented out really well to people, yeah. but those were heads. Yeah. Uh, I remember that. So, you know, from there... Yeah, it was just a, a blossoming relationship, and we lived a, a long far away from each other. Yeah, we did. We it, was long, it was a long, it was a long distance family. relationship. It, it would only be uh, like weekends mm -hmm. until me and Larry decided, well, heck, we could just drive down to Los Angeles. These two girls both live very close together mm -hmm. to each other, and uh, we would take the time to go down there and visit and mm -hmm. and uh, double date, do that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, Larry ended up marrying Cheryl. Eventually, mm -hmm. I ended up marrying Sue. Mm -hmm. That's where it all began up in Big Bear. Bless that little place. <laughs> and, well, see, we moved to Big Bear my last two years of high school. And my last two years of high school is when you were able to come up from Victorville yeah. at, for our first year. And yeah, the second yeah. year, you moved down with your mama right. down in Riverside. And then, it, but you still kept little coming up and drive, down. But still coming up and yeah, down. Yeah. So we would see <clears> each other. That way too. You tell, had to travel. tell me how I proposed to you. <laughs> you did not propose to me. <laughs> <laughs> tell them how that uh, happened. Then. <laughs> my mother, that summer you graduated from high school, um, and it was my graduation. You had already been going to school for therapy, physical uh, re respiratory therapy, and it was summer. It was like July. And my mama, you were up visiting us, and my mama said, well, when are you two going to get married? Because we had been dating for three years. And I I'm looked, sitting there in the room, and I'm watching Match Game. I remember that. <laughs> and this, this pops off the question. All of a sudden, the mom asked, when so, are you two getting married? So they're both looking at me, and I go. I said, when, when are we going to get married? I just and go, you well, gave a date. I said, set a date. So we set a date. And it was like For two weeks later, <laughs> two weeks later, you know, we hired a preacher for a uh, hundred bucks and we got a couple we hundred dollars worth of rings. Bear. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And a beautiful little chapel up there in later. Big Bear. And everybody presumed, it was a well, nice small wedding. Susie must be pregnant. <laughs> that <laughs> was a, that was a rush marriage there. Somebody's pregnant. <laughs> I'm sorry. It was not pregnant. So. No, there was some disappointment, I guess, yeah. there, because I was not. But, um, uh, yeah, you one, adjust one, then your, your training. One very important aspect of the that saved the, the wedding was my mother, Here Comes Virginia, my drunk aunt. She wants to come in, and, and she's a real blubber when she's drunk. Of course, she's always drunk. <laughs> she's never so sober. she comes pouring herself out of the camper, gonna come, <laughs> think she's going to come see this one. And my mama went out there and said, you get your butt back in that camper. I'm going to beat you. <laughs> and, and, uh, yeah, so. And let's see. Uh, I didn't have a, a vehicle probably uh, worthy of doing a uh, honeymoon. So Larry loaned us his, his van. <laughs> it, was a, it was a butt ugly thing. And. Uh, you took uh, me to San Diego. Yeah, went, went to SeaWorld for SeaWorld, our... SeaWorld <laughs> San Diego for our honeymoon. Nothing yeah. but the finest, man. <laughs> it was fun. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, yeah, you know, I'd made a earlier presentation of me attempting this whole scenario. But, I, I mean, I'm no good with dates and how young we were and when, when things happened. So I said, Sue, you're going to have to come in and... Provide some backup on this one. Uh, at least want to get the major points right. And uh, condolences from the guy from Mad Magazine. Hey, 
You know, sometimes a, <laughs> you win a, few, sometimes you a, a fast horse just wins, you know. <laughs> okay, unless you can think of anything else, I mean, we're, we're officially married. And it took me six or seven videos to get to that point, but right. there we are. Right. You had just got your job. You had just started working at as a respiratory therapist and at San Bernardino. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And you, you only got maybe two checks before we got married. So you had just uh -huh. finished school. In the money. In the money. And then we got married and uh, where did we go to live? Uh, where did we go first? I've got to think. I think your mama let us take that trailer and park it at the at that trailer park. And Neil's trailer was just three doors down on right. yeah so your okay. mother that so, was a wedding kind of gift sort of cool. uh, we could take over the so payments on this trailer there was this trailer i guess we were making payments on it but mm -hmm. well she was made, and we took okay. it over yeah and uh it was a small trailer probably 30 foot long 45 uh, 10 10 foot wide no, <laughs> she's gonna say 12 <laughs> but, but your mother they had it mom bill had it out at the the uh, you missed that part. The nudist camp. Oh gosh, what, you missed the that, nudist camp. Okay, we're going to save that for <laughs> that will be another, another video. <laughs> that will be hilarious. The nudist okay. camp. Yeah, yeah, that was right in the time, right before. Or, yeah, it was before we married, I think, or it might have been right after it, because you were flying. That's right. Well, we're only at twenty-one minutes. Okay. Uh, well, so. Yeah. Yeah, so let me throw in this nudist camp thing because, you know, uh, my mother and her husband, Don, at that time, Don Parsons, uh, my mama knew waitressing and cooking and all that kind of stuff. She's a good cook. And, and, but they weren't looking for anything to do, uh, but they saw this ad in the paper. It says, looking for a, a, a couple of cooks to work at the some, some Sun Valley nudist camp or so. Right. And they go, a snack hey, bar. hey snack bar. Let, let's go out there just for fun, just to, <laughs> just to see. So they went out there just to, you know, get a look, gander at all the foolishness there. And they went ahead and they took the job. Yeah. They said, here, they, they, the they, they've got the, the they've got the captive people. Mm -hmm. They're not going anywhere because they ain't got no clothes on. So they got to eat there. <laughs> <laughs> and, and so, you know, they said, yeah, come on out. You, you know, it's usually just a bunch of old people. And uh, people. there was a few young people that would be on the weekends and things get a little bit uh, crazier. But uh, so, shoot, I, I brought Susie out and we waited till uh, late, late night with skinny dipping in the little pool and... Uh, Mm -hmm. But it is is it was funny. We'd go out there and these old people running around with their saggy this and saggy that, and playing tennis yeah. with only boots and a hat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was pretty funny to watch. <laughs> boots and a hat. Playing they tennis. they did that for a couple of years, uh, maybe two or three. I don't know. It's somewhere in there. And uh, but yeah, the, the fact that her mother, yeah, fine with the uh, yeah, <laughs> take her down to the nudist camp, you know. Okay, <laughs> and, you know, we're still just in high school. <laughs> so, well, last of high school. Yeah. You had, yeah, graduated. It was before. Uh, hold on now. Look, I know I was in high school because we had, I was at the Corona High School. Yes. I was in the jazz band. Okay. And everyone's going, uh, what's the jazz gonna be, band going to do for, uh, like, the end of the year party? Uh, we need some place oh, we can do this. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, I don't remember. well, you weren't invited to that. Oh, that was just the jazz band. We went out okay. there during the middle of the week mm -hmm. when the only, there was only one dude out there, and he, he was butt-ass naked, but he he's out there playing tennis. So here's this, <laughs> all these 16, 17, 18-year-old kids showing up. And, you know, some of the guys, they went ahead and got – buff and did some swimming i i kept the clothes on <laughs> and uh, this uh guy comes over you know uh swinging his racket and other things <laughs> and he says any of you boys play tennis oh uh, 
you know, guy, right? I, I'm on the tennis team. And so, well, come on, let's play some tennis. And he says, can I keep my clothes on? Yeah, you can keep your clothes on. And that oh, old man, God. that old man just whooped his butt. He was a sunburned, <laughs> really tanned old man. Uh, yeah, yeah. It, it was amazing. Here we got a, a band of like 16, 18 kids, all young men. And each of them, the, the band instructor sent home a note uh, for our for our end of the year band party, we're we, we're going to utilize the uh, nudist camp at you know whatever it was called Sun Vista nudist yeah, camp, Sun, Sun Valley, yeah. Or something, yeah, right there. And the every place. parent signed it, and said, "Yeah, that's fine." <laughs> <laughs> California, you know. So and uh, so yeah, that, that happened. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure. That, I'm sure that really made their day. You get. Going out to the nudist camp and all I see is one saggy old man. Uh, and you were going to Europe because of your band. Yeah, I kind of covered that with the uh, previous. Okay, where story the gal lines. comes and she's all excited about you going. <laughs> well, she there was the this band. one notable gal, very tanned, long dark hair, somewhat pretty. Even with her clothes on, she would have been pretty. But uh, she was well endowed in certain areas, that, you know what I mean. And so my mama mentioned to her that I was going to be going to Europe to tour Europe with our high school band. And oh, my God, she started jumping up and down. She was so, so excited. And my mom was going, you, you, you need to stop that. Just sell that down now. And I'm going, whoa. Oh, man. Yeah. Good times, good times. So uh, that's going to be a whole nother story. And uh, I think that'll probably be the next thing in line. And that was before we married, you know. Yeah, yeah. I had one more year life. I did make, uh, I think, slight mention of that. Yeah, and we, we could, you know, a couple of us guys got to take our uh, gal friends yeah. along on that. And we'll go into more detail about our trip uh, to Europe. It was really amazing. Once yeah. in a lifetime adventure. It was. Uh, 21 days. Yeah. It was a, have a trip all over tour Europe. of Europe, man. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Well, we're going to call that good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised that she came in here, <laughs> but I couldn't have done it without her, as, a, as is a lot of things. I think I'll keep them for a few, few, few years more. Yeah. Or another 40 some years. It's been 47, so we could keep going. All right. Years. We're out of here. Bye bye. Bye.